What's up, everybody? This is Gerald MXG, and we are having our Nintendo unboxing. Unboxing. Nintendo Switch is here, everybody. I got it last night. I haven't played with it yet. It's in the boxes. Is it in the boxes? Ooh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Zelda. I got the Pro Controller. I heard the Pro Controller is, you know, helpful. And you know what? Forget that. I unboxed it. Yep. I couldn't stand it. I haven't played it yet, but I unboxed it already. Do you really want to see another unboxing video of me opening a box? Come on. I mean, really? Eh. Pro Controller. Badass. Love the Pro Controller. Um... Things that I like about it so far. I love the form factor. Um, here it is. I just pulled it out of the dock and it turned on automatically. It's like a sleep mode, it looks like. Um, you know, pretty pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Hold on, what else we got here? Uh, it did come with the little uh, wrist pan, uh, the, the wrist things for the uh, little uh, motion controllers. Um... So, let's see what else we got here. Let's turn it down. So here's the unit, the docking unit. I like it. The form factor is pretty cool. It's small, it's super small. So the footprint of this, I'm gonna say is maybe half of the size of my, uh, my Xbox One. Um, it's got two USBs. Uh, slots. Um, I've got my Pro Controller plugged into this one for charging. Um, these are USB 2 right here. Um, the HDMI, this, you got a little flip up in the back, which is pretty cool. Um, you have the AC adapter, which is USB-C. There we go. USB-C. Uh, the HDMI. And then right here, this is another USB. This is USB 3.0. Um, what I've been reading about that and what Nintendo said is eventually you'll be able to plug uh, USB hard drives into this this port back here Which will be really awesome for uh, storage expansion because right now you can only use SD cards um, I actually need to go buy another SD card right now. Uh, I think uh, Amazon was actually having a sale today, so All right, let's get back up here Woo. So um, you know, it's super small. I, I couldn't believe, you know, the size of it. Here's the uh, the Joy Cons. Um, they come right off. Um, let's see. actually, you know what? Let's do this. Go back down. That's better. So I got the Joy Cons. These are very cool. Um, like I told you before, it comes with the little wrist straps. Uh, you sl slide on the Joy Con. Let's see. Where is it? Minus, minus, minus. Hold on. So, slide the Joy Con on here. You got the wrist strap, so you don't drop it. And then you got your motion controller, just like the Wii U or whatever. I mean, of course, a lot smaller. Or you, you hold it this way, you got the two little buttons, and you got a little uh, NES controller. I, I love it. Uh, it's pretty pretty cool so let's see now that when you're setting it up um, it actually tells you to take it out oh yeah here the other thing um, here's the uh, Joy-Con uh, dock um, get the Joy-Cons on there which and they sync, sync up I've heard of some people saying there's issues with this I haven't run into it yet so Things are stiff still, um, which is good, I guess. So you plug the Joy-Cons on there, you slide them on, and voila, you have a Joy-Con controller. It's actually okay. Um, the uh, the form fit of the Pro Controller, uh, the Pro Controller was uh, 70 bucks, so I mean, it's not cheap. Uh, it does come with the two Joy-Cons and the uh, Joy-Con dock, so if, if you don't you know, have the extra 70 bucks, I mean, don't, you, you, it comes with a good controller. Um, I, I just got the, uh, the pro controller just because, you know, 
I had saved up for it, and uh, you know, it's it's one of those things I wanted to show on my channel as well. So you got the Pro Controller. It's got a USB uh, C on it for charging, so it's using the latest technology, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if you've ever played with the uh, Wii U version of the the uh, the Pro Controller. Um, this is uh, definitely an updated version. Uh, it's got a home button on it. Uh, it looks like it's got the little square one. I believe that's for uh, taking screenshots. So that's pretty cool. Um, as far as the actual unit itself, this is it. This is this is it's a, it's small. I opened the box and I was like, whoa, it seems small. Then you know I compared it to my phone, and really, ooh, really, it is small. It's it's big. It's it's slightly bigger, but you know. Uh, yeah, I got a big phone anyway, so um, the uh, the sound that comes out of the back of this is actually pretty tremendous. So if you're not wearing a pair of headphones, you are going to be able to hear the game if you're not in a crowded place. Um, when you flip up the kickstand here, that is where your micro SD goes. So you uh, you you put your memory card in here when you buy it. Um, it has 32 gigs of memory internally already but you're gonna i mean if you download a lot of these uh games or uh you're, you're gonna run through that quick um it's got the volume button on the top along with the power button also the headphone jack is on top um it's got a little air vent on top so you can see a uh um what is it it's you know a heat condenser in there so um, here is where you put the game. Yeah. So I'm gonna tell you something. This these uh, cartridges, these are smaller than the uh, DS cartridges, so that's pretty awesome. So you have this cartridge right here, which is Zelda. Um, let's see. I know I have one. I know I have one. I have one. By the way, I keep all of my Nintendo DS games in a Tupperware container. Don't ask me why. But anyways, so here's a DS game. Woo, as I dropped it. Monster Hunter. Awesome game, by the way. And then you have Zelda. Look at this. You know, some people are saying, oh, it's thicker, blah, blah, blah. Um, It's not thicker. If you look at the size, this the these games are not uh, thick at all. But they are half of the size, almost almost half the size of a DS cartridge. That's pretty amazing, considering this game is badass. From what I've seen, I haven't played it yet. So, what do I give this so far? Um, it did have a patch as soon as I turned it on. Um, it was a very small patch, uh, turning on some features from what I understand. So, um, you know what, here, let's look at the home screen real quick. I'll show the home screen. It is touch screen, by the way. Um, okay. Here you go. Woo! Oh, you can you see it? Ah! Woo! There we go. You know what? Hold on. This is ridiculous. What am I doing? Turn the logo off. All right. There. Hey. Where am I? Anyways, I'll I'll hook it up to uh, uh, my my video capture card, and you know I'll. I'll post some stuff on it. it. It's too hard to capture. The the light in here sucks anyways uh, because it's dark outside. So, And I've got, you know, different. I'm messing with my lighting lately. So that's it. I mean, so far, impressions. Um, disappointed that it's only got 32 gigs. Happy that it's got expansion, but not happy that it doesn't have uh, on the, the dock that you, you right now you, it doesn't support a hard drive. It's it's planned for the future though, so USB three. Uh, you probably I don't know, maybe you can hook up an external SSD drive to it or something. That'd be pretty cool if it's got USB three on it. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'd, I'd just be happy with any USB drive at this point. Um, so I'm gonna say, you know, with the limited titles, um, I heard some issues with the Joy-Con syncing. It's, it sounds like all the, a lot of stuff that uh, people are complaining about is really software based. Now, there's going to be tons of patches from this thing. It's like there is on every uh, system that I own, you know, from the Xbox, Wii U. Uh, everything I've ever owned has uh, 
current gen has had uh, uh, patches. So I, I w I'm going to give this a solid, uh, I'm going to say a 7.8 right now. Um, I would have given it an 8 if uh, there had been more launch titles and more memory. Uh, you know, I hear a lot of people complaining about this thing, and, or I'm not going to say complaining. People saying, oh, Nintendo's washed up, this is dumb. This is really revolutionary. You know, uh, we live in a mobile society. Uh, we, the, we, we, our li a lot of people's lives run on these these days. So, um, you know, you get the phone, you play games on it. Oh, I want to play console based. I'm a core gamer. I want to, you know, people are like, oh, you can play games on your cell phone. You can't play this kind of game on a cell phone. They're not built for it. This is built to play games. That's what it's built for. It's not built to be a cell phone. It's built to play games. And that's what I want to do. So 7.8, I'll change that. Of course, when more titles come, um, you get more features. It's it's missing some some other things that I think it needs. It doesn't have Netflix. It doesn't have Amazon streaming. It doesn't have any, uh, you know, any video services right now. Uh, I don't know about the this new uh, video or not video uh, internet service that they're gonna have that's supposedly free until this summer. Uh, it'll it prompts you when you set up the this uh, that you get the the service for free. But what what's the service? What what are, what are they offering you? Um, you know, it's not. An, it, are they gonna, you know, eventually run an Xbox Gold type thing, or they, or or PS, uh, you know, PlayStation Store thing, where uh, they give you uh, free games for for a month. You know, every month you get a different game, or or what? Because you're gonna have to pay for this service from what Nintendo's saying. So, you know, I I want to know what I'm paying for. So, what am I paying for? Um, other than that, seven point eight. This is Gerald from MXG. Uh, this is my uh, not so unboxing uh, edition of the uh, Nintendo Switch. I already opened it. I mean, I figured there was a million unboxing videos. You can go watch somebody else open the box. I mean, if you really want to see me open the box that I threw on the floor, <laughs> um, I opened it. Ooh, it's empty. Oh, anyways. This is Gerald MXG and I am out.